Hey guys, uh, not too sure how well you're going to be able to see in this video because it's kind of dark in my garage. I apologize for that. Um, I got a lot of light in here, but it doesn't show up very good on this video for some reason. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I can adjust it. Anyways, um, I just wanted to make a quick video to get some advice from my car stereo people. I know that I have some friends that have a lot of knowledge, so wanted a little help. Uh, I've got my three 10-inch DBs in my big square port box now. It's got a square port that's, oh, I think it's like, I can't remember how big it is now. Oh, it's like 7 by 6 or something like that. Almost 7 by 7 inch square port on the back of the box. And I got the 310 inch 500 series DBs, 350 RMS subs. One of them's an old one. The other two are the newer newer style ones. Uh, so they get, they're a little heavier duty, a little better wires and stuff like that. But anyways, they're all 350 RMS 10s. Right now I've got them on this old junk Jensen amp, which you can't even see. It's buried back here between the box and the uh, batteries. I got fans on it. Don't worry, it doesn't get hot. Those are going to come out, obviously, when I get a new amp, and I'm going to build some kind of a better rack right in here to put the amp on. But uh, So, yeah, that's the finished box. I'm going to go in the house, actually, and figure out what the cubic feet of the box is and decide if I'm going to port it or not. I might put, I, might, I mean, whether I want to put a round port actually and I've got the square hole in the back obviously right now which I could make as big as I want and maybe put like a big round port in it if it's gonna help me get my lows better because these tens do not like to go low they hit really super crazy hard in the mid bass but they don't like to go low um, I'm sure I could fix that with the box but I don't want to do a bunch of transmission line junk because it's a pain in the butt taking it apart so I may end up doing a around poured out that hole but the point of this video basically is to get some advice from you guys on what amp to get for this how big I should get the amp they're 350 RMS a piece so if you add that up that's what seven seven hundred one thousand and fifty RMS a thousand RMS is what they should have so should I get like a 1200 RMS amp I'm kinda leaning back and forth trying to decide whether to get a an audio pipe or a hyphonics um, I really can't afford a DD amp. I mean, for the one I need for these subs is like, you know, 500 bucks or something. I don't want to want to spend 500 bucks when I can get a decent amp for between two and 300. I'm probably just going to do that. So, what's your advice, guys? Do you like audio pipe better? Do you like Hyphonics amps better? Do you would you do something different entirely? Uh, give me some opinions. What kind of amp should I put on these? My deck is uh, just a cheap $175 Sony Bluetooth, um, you know, so 